Hello, good day and welcome. Today will be a short video and interview with one of our speakers and sponsors at our eighth annual cybersecurity event. This will be a virtual conference taking place on the 21st and 22nd of September. So I would like to then introduce our speaker and sponsor. This is Dr. Robin Berthier. Robin Berthier is the CEO and co-founder at Network Perception in the US. And yes, just a few questions for you today, Robin, just to understand a bit about your topic and what participants can expect. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Perfect. So, yes, first question will just be, what will be the topic that you will be discussing at this event? Sure. So the topic is about uh, protecting mission critical assets. And we'll be presenting on three uh, very important pillars of cybersecurity. The first one, how to uh, achieve like uh, really good uh, compliance verification, how to leverage compliance for cybersecurity. Uh, the second one is to uh, develop visibility, how to get the right visualization into our assets. And then the third one on accelerating our uh, risk mitigation efforts. So how to gain velocity once we have the verification and the visibility uh, pieces in place. All right. And then what is the importance of discussing this topic today? Well, um, mission critical assets really are those pieces of equipment uh, that if they go down, then operations cannot continue. So they have a huge impact on uptime and revenue for organizations. And they are getting more and more uh, of a target. We've seen that with the Colonial Pipeline uh, incident uh, a few months ago. And so uh, it's extremely uh, uh, you know, relevant today to focus on critical infrastructure and make sure they are correctly protected. All right. And now within network perception, what would be network perception's role in the development of this? So we've been, uh, you know, designing and developing a solution uh, around those uh, uh, challenges of compliance verification and network visibility for quite a few years now. And we developed an, an expertise with uh, power utilities uh, to make sure that those critical assets are well protected. And so our role is to uh, bring, uh, you know, automations and efficiency and, and a new uh, way to visualize uh, network risks in order to uh, improve cybersecurity for critical infrastructure. Right. So, yes, currently within power and utilities, and I would say energy sector as a whole, rapid advancements going on, a lot of renewable energies being integrated or um, what they call distributed energy resources also integrated. So what would you see with this expansion being kind of the main challenges that you can see taking place in 2022 with respect to cybersecurity in the industry? Yes. So, you know, the our dependency on cyber systems keeps increasing. We have more and more uh, connectivity, more and more remote control. Uh, and uh, as a result, it's attracting uh, new and uh, increasing cyber threats. Uh, just to take the example of ransomware, uh, it's been growing by more than 300% in just uh, the last two years. Um, I think for you know the next few years, the main challenges will be how can we raise the bar in terms of cyber hygiene, like how can we better verify that we are adopting uh, best practices, internal controls, uh, and also better adopting principles of segmenting our, our networks in a way that if something fails, we don't lose the whole operation. And, and, uh, and, and we've seen with the solar wind, for example, supply chain attacks being extremely uh, uh, critical, and we need to, uh, to design our architecture to defend against that. Perfect. Right. So, yes, I think overall exciting challenges the, that come through, but opportunities that arise from that and then the cybersecurity really being key pillar for um, the kind of implementation and deployment of that as one of those factors to be in place. So part of our events, um, you will see at our event, the room is filled with uh, experts within the European uh, energy industry. So yes, you'll be there with like-minded people, what we call a peer-to-peer -peer network. So if there was one book perhaps that you would recommend for the people in the room and the people watching this now, a book that you would recommend on cybersecurity is something that you found most insightful. 
Yes, so uh, I, I'm reading a book now that's fascinating. It's, uh, it's on the flip side of free. So how to understand the economics of, of the internet. And mm -hmm. it's a book by uh, Michael Kendi. And uh, it's not exactly on, on cybersecurity, but it allows me to understand why are we where we are today? Like, like the development of, of protocols, of communications, of standards, and, uh, and, and, and those forces are driving our communication society today and, and how to best you know use that for protection perfect interesting so yes i invite those that will be joining us that are seeing this video to have a look into the book and then perhaps at the conference we can have a bit of a discussion what uh, everyone found as most valuable and then we can share some ideas there so perfect uh, robin it really was a pleasure speaking with you i do thank you very much and i do look forward to seeing you and hearing your presentation on the 21st of september Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it as well. Perfect. All right.